Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin has a very, very quiet day. Um, as I explained already to you in the previous video, we are likely dealing here still with a scenario in which another extension to the upside is happening. However, the subway structure has changed yesterday. Um, nothing got invalidated, absolutely not. But the price action suggests rather that here some kind of an Elliott wave triangle is forming, is playing out. Um, we have the wave four here in place on the 14th of November and the fifth wave is up there. And we want to get to a situation yeah, in which we are seeing another extension to the upside into the region around 41 to 42K. That would be ideal. Imminent support is between 37,030 and 36,230. Yeah, these are the key support levels. Um, below that level, I've got one more level to watch, which is down here at 35,650. But honestly, below that level, I have to assume that this assumption is wrong of a triangle. At the moment, the assumption would be that, yeah, you know, wave four bottomed here. And then we have our A wave to the upside. The B wave is a triangle in an A, B, C, D, E structure. And then we would be watching for a breakout to the upside into that um, yeah, 41, possibly 42K region. So in terms of the actual Elliott wave triangle, it is supposed to be a B wave. And in the B wave, we're dealing with five waves. Yeah, as I said, A, B, no, one second, um, A, B, C, D, E. That E wave might be unfolding right now. And um, immediate targets are just even above the actual support range are 37,370, 37,090, and 36,730. So we haven't even reached that 61.8 extension level. That is one of the key targets for an E wave in a triangle. Uh, it's not super reliable, but it's always a level to watch. And if we talk about the internals here of the E wave, now this is of course very, very short term, shorter time frame stuff. Um, if we look at the internals here, first of all, we've got this descending wedge, which is generally, you could argue a bullish reversal pattern to the upside. And then what we are looking for is a three wave move. So it could be that we had our A wave, our B wave, and now the C wave is unfolding. So um, in the C wave, we would be watching for five waves. So it could be that we already have a one, two. This here could be a three and a four and maybe one more low. Um, yeah, could complete this ABC structure in wave E and uh, then we can be watching for a potential yeah, reaction. Ultimately, to confirm that we are heading to the upside, we need to see a break above this dashed line, above the, oh, what is it, 38,470 level. I don't think there is much more I can add. I think everything has been said. Good news is that in this triangle here, um, we are moving down at the moment, but it's a very, very, yeah, corrective price structure so we have a descending wedge the market yeah, shows a lot of overlaps overlapping price action and an abc structure within the e-wave is basically nearly complete as well yeah that's my update about bitcoin i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter please um, you can find the links for those channels in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.